Hi Sagittarius, I hope you made it through the eclipse season somewhat unscathed and even sane because there was a lot of insane things going on with these planetary transits and how many planets that were retrograde, five, six of them? And yet now we have Mercury retrograde for another three weeks, in August anyway. There was a lot of flavors involved in this eclipse season. Mid-July in Cancer it was about home changes in home and changes in your perspective about it. End of July, the Aquarius eclipse was about relationships. You know, you were re reviewing, reconnecting, releasing, reawakening. And then there was that odd man out Leo eclipse in August. Drama, maybe some reconnection with children. On the flip side, maybe some entertainment and some fun involved in it. Now I have an announcement to make before I go on. My other channel, Brothers of the Sword Productions, now has another video out and it's about the Black Madonna mystery. And I'm decoding an actual message that was sewn onto the garments of a Black Madonna. And if you're interested, the link is down below in the description box. Now it seems like you have a love reading here. Something's going on with your relationships and there's going to be a brighter light shining on them. And I'm saying that because you received the gable rune, and this means gift. But it's also about the power of love and relationships. And about deepening the bonds. Balancing out that giving and receiving. Dealing with the sacrifice of relationships that always comes around. The funny thing about this rune though is it can be two extremes extreme calm or extreme chaos and it's really up to you to make the decision and start putting some order into things if it's calm it's already in order but if it's in disorder then it's time to change the entropy into order because this rune even though it is about gifts it's about maintaining balance finding weights on the scales that are even finding harmony and making harmony prevail over chaos Money doesn't necessarily bring love. And the funny thing about it is that the Minciati card that I pulled for you was charity, about the giving and receiving, being generous in times of your life when you're able to, sacrificing in your relationships when you need to. Because the overall energy cards that you receive for this reading is the lovers and the hierophant. You know, the lover's card is about deeds and desires and vice and virtues, doing what's right. And here you have the Hierophant too, you know, he's kind of a governor for religion, moral values, seeking the unknown and finding the truth. But he also signifies rites of passage because he does ceremonies and rituals for marriage, weddings, engagements, all these various things that change our lives change our lives into different perspectives. Once we marry, we're now connected to another person. 
Maybe you're going to become a member of some group. You know, the lover's card just isn't the love relationship. There's a lot of different levels for love. Agape, which is brotherly love, all the way to just the sensual passions of love. But you really can't reconnect with things unless you have that spiritual aspect of love. And that's where the Hierophant is reminding you about. Keeping not only the physical part of it, but the spiritual as well. Now the cards on the left for the what you know category, you receive the world and the seven of pentacles. So the world card saying that you've been at the end of a cycle, which makes a lot of, a lot of sense because of this eclipse season. We've released a lot of things. There's new beginnings coming in. And the Seven of Pentacles agrees with that too because this card is about sowing seeds. Things are sprouting. But it's a card also about a gestation time. A time that you're going to have to tend the garden. When things are coming to an end, a lot of times you have to be very vigilant about what's going on so you don't drop the ball. There's a transformative thing going on here, just like the growth that's going on with the Seven of Pentacles. Things are sprouting. That's a transformation for each stage of growth. But now it's saying here it's time to accept some new challenges because you've learned a lesson that the universe wanted you to learn. This is like a rites of passage with the hero fan up there, a graduation. You've learned and you've earned it. Now it's time to move on. But the cards next door to that are telling you it's time to get a handle. Because you not only have the Queen of Swords, you have the King of Swords too. The couple about taking order and structure into a higher level. The couple about using logic and good communication instead of emotions when you're making decisions. Because up above there is the Lover's card and that is a decision card. It's a decision about your values where you're going, what you want to do with your love, who you want to accept in your life, and on what level. Friendship, pseudo-family, lover. The king and queen are reminding you to get a grip on things. Set some boundaries, make some rules. The queen's there too to act like life is a chess game and look three, four moves ahead so you're prepared. But both of them are very mature energy too. She's about understanding. He's about taking control of, his, of your life and where you're going. Because now there is some decisions to be made because the cards next door for your awakening or your self-awareness. You have the two of wands and the two of pentacles. These are two two decision cards that are now paired up with the lover's card about making decisions. But the Two of Wands is more of making plans to me. Checking out the risks, looking at the opportunities that are available to you. But now it's time to mull it over. What do you want to do? Using logic and reason as the basis for the next decisions that you do make now that you're going into a new cycle. The Page of Pentacles too is always reminding you to not take too many risks. Know what you're doing. Go do your research. Go to the library if you need to. Look things up in the com Consumer's Bulletin. Although he has a really young posture, the Two of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Page of Pentacles, really is very mature in his thought. And that's what it's saying that you have to do too. Now I don't know why I went out of control and pulled a whole load of future cards for all of the, the signs, but I think it was because now we're all looking to the future of all the changes that happened during this eclipse season. And you receive strength, the fool, four of cups, four of swords, three of pentacles, and ace of pentacles. So you have the strength card. Yeah, you need some strength. Fear no more. Move on. Time to make some decisions. And with the fool card there, yeah, you're going to be the itinerant wanderer. Now discovering some new things in your life. Culling some things, bringing some new things in. Discovering the mysteries of your own life, of your inner personal self. It's so funny, they call him the fool, but he's smart enough to know it's time to go on a new journey somewhere. Changes are coming. But you have the four of cups there. 
This is a card about discomfort and emotions. I call it the spectator card because a lot of times you're not participating. You go into a funk. You don't want to do that. You want to stay on top of things. You want to have that energy of the swords from the queen and the king. Keeping organization. Keeping chaos at bay. If you can do that, really you can go past that four of swords, which is really a respite time. Time of trauma. There were some things that happened, maybe things just didn't work out quite the way you wanted to. And now you're just kind of in grief because of it. Forget that. Go on and build with the Three of Pentacles card there. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. You know, it's time now to go back down and get the rewards, the earthly rewards. Pentacles is about earth, grounding yourself. And it also can it signify promotions and jobs career changes, a feeling of more well-being and stability, security, that up above there with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, you weren't feeling because you weren't taking advantage of the Strength card. Now this Ace of Pentacles is reminding you to start enjoying the senses of life and the sensuality of it when connected with the Lover's card up above there. But having a moralistic governor there as well. Making sure you know the difference between right and wrong because the Hierophant is reminding you of that. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness. Oh,